somebody on my Instagram said, your esophagus needs a seat at the reunion. <laughs> <That's serious. laughs> okay, well, That's funny. And I've seen like drawings of me and my head is chopped off and it's just my esophagus <laughs> coming out. And it's like this is Sutton's esophagus. It's so good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. I love coming to see you. I love having you here. You're we actually like, have like our little, um, yes. we sort of go. Yes. We've got a, a we thing got a vibe going, going yeah. on right now. <laughs> um, well, speaking of fashion, I know you have so many great new things going on with yeah. the store, new collaborations and things yeah. like that. Yeah, the store is doing well. Mm -hmm. um, we actually have August Getty has come back into the mm -hmm. store, and so we've got a lot of his um, beautiful pieces. And then um, Sutton Brands is my mm -hmm. new company yep. that I have. And last time we spoke, I had Cynthia Bailey. Yes. She came on with her mm -hmm. line. And now we've added um, Luann mm -hmm. from Housewives yes. of New York, and then also Denise Richards. And the, it's so fun to work with Denise. I love her mm -hmm. so much, and she's got her own line. Sure. And another friend of mine, people know her as mm -hmm. Alyssa Edwards. Mm -hmm. I know him as Justin. Sure. Um, and he's going to do menswear. So, and all of this is, um, you know, it's circular fashion. It's mm -hmm. all sustainable. Yeah. Uh, line so we're, it's growing and we're really excited about it and Good for you. yeah we just keep you know plugging along that yeah. congratulations thank you that's so great and I love this I love your look I love the long oh, hair it thank looks so you fantastic this New York weather is getting to <laughs> yes, me yes it is you look great you mentioned Denise what was it like having her back this season I know it's a little bit of a tumultuous oh, ride yeah. but <laughs> what was it like having her back I loved having her there mm -hmm. and it was really nice you know I my first season was her second season yeah. And so I only did one season with her. Mm -hmm. And she was so sweet to me that my first season. And she would always say, you're so funny. <laughs> and then I, I thought, is she saying funny like ha-ha funny? <laughs> right. Or funny like strange funny? <laughs> Probably somewhere mm -hmm. in between the two. Yeah. And she really kind of held my hand mm -hmm. and said it's going to be fun. So it was nice to have her back. I think she had things that were still on her chest mm -hmm. that she wanted to say. and. Uh, you know, maybe at first she didn't say it as eloquently as sure. she wanted to, but I think she finally spoke up and listen, she faced Erica and I've been there mm -hmm. and it's not easy. No. Erica's mm -hmm. not um, an easy adversary. So I think she handled herself well and um, I think Denise is just a really great person mm -hmm. and she's a great mother yeah. and you know, I respect her. How did she feel after the episodes aired? Did you ask her? Um, I don't think she's been watching. Them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she, she'll text me and say, "How was it? Yeah. How was I?" And you know, I I think that I thought she came across well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that dinner from hell night. <laughs> right. It was just a mess. Yes. And as in, as in Denise, it may not have been your best moment, but mm -hmm. don't worry, I messed up a right. lot. So <laughs> I think the takeaway yeah. was more me sure. than you. Uh, so don't worry. No, does she feel like she has closure with closure with Erica now? You think? I think so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so. I think I think that they kind of both agreed to disagree. Mm -hmm. And you know, Erica is very interesting because she's very much the person that says, okay, right, and that's why I like her, mm -hmm. because she really, she really does forgive and forget. Yeah. She, she moves on, and she doesn't have time for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she doesn't keep bringing it up. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of moves on. No. I, I do enjoy seeing you have this friendship with her this I season. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, you know, and the truth is, I really do like her, and I hope that we can build a bigger friendship. Mm -hmm. And because we have a lot of fun together. We had um, a night where just Erica Garcelle. And it was I, one of my favorite moments from the season. I love it. We <laughs> had the best time. Yeah. And we all, the three of us just relaxed. Mm -hmm. And I think we all three were surprised at how much fun sure. we had together. We kept saying, we have to do this again, like off camera, mm -hmm. because we have a lot in common, the three of us. You know, we're, we're all divorced mothers. And we're we're kind of pretty funny. Yes. They make fun of me, <laughs> but which is fine. Right. But we like to talk about all kind of different topics and really smart business women. Mm -hmm. And so I, it was a really good trio. For some, it for was. Somehow. I loved seeing it. I it know. really was. And you know, Garcelle kind of 
tricked me. Sure. Yeah. So, but it was it all worked out, and I think we went to some place called it had a cat name. Uh -huh. So I'll you know yeah. anything that has cat involved I'll go to. But we had a good time. I, I loved it. I, like I said, it was one of my favorite moments this season. A very lighthearted moment. Yeah. Because, and. Because it hasn't been a lot of lighthearted moments this season, and on my bingo card, I didn't think talking about your esophagus oh, would be God. on there. Oh God! Do we have to talk about my esophagus one more time? I Hopefully not. You know, who knew? Somebody on my Instagram said your esophagus needs a seat at the reunion. <laughs> <That's> seriously? <laughs> okay, well, that's funny. And I've seen like drawings of me, and my head is chopped off, and it's just my esophagus <laughs> coming out. And it's like this Sutton's esophagus. <laughs> you know, who who would have thought yeah. that my esophagus would be so? Um, popular, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know I've had this condition since my late twenties. Okay, my father had this condition. Mm -hmm. My brother has it. So you know, for me, it's just a way of life. And what happened was, I got inundated with people with the same condition. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's common, and it's not like something to write home about. Sure, yeah. You know, you take care of yourself. In the way that you want to. Mm -hmm. How do you kind of prepare for a reunion? Well, let's see. Um, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like the way I do the show. Sure. I kind of just show up, put on a mic. I mean, I, of course, I have to do like hair stuff mm -hmm. and face stuff. Sure. Hopefully, my eyes are going to stop <laughs> crying like they are here in New York. Uh, no, it's more like what am I going to wear? Mm -hmm. I don't fret too much on um, the small stuff. I just, you know, sit down and answer the questions. Sure. Yeah. But I will say, I think I've been um, quiet in the past, mm -hmm. and I think this this reunion, I'm not going to be quiet. Okay. I have a lot to talk about. A lot to talk about. Yeah. yeah. Do you, what do you think about Crystal kind of finding her voice this season? I loved it. Yeah. I've been loving it. Mm -hmm. Me too. I mean, it's like finally. Yes. <laughs> because she was very loud her first season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm like. Where is that? <laughs> Where'd okay, she go? Missy? <laughs> no, she's she's so great. She's a good friend of mine, and yeah. um, I love seeing her be herself. Mm -hmm. And because she's very, she's a very opinionated woman, mm -hmm. and I love that it kind of came out in mm -hmm. a roar. Um, so I, I think it's great for yeah. the viewers to see that side Absolutely. of her. Yeah. I agree. You know, the last time we spoke. Uh, you and Kyle were taking some space from one another. Right. How are things between the two of you now? I think we're still in that space. In that space, yeah. yeah. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I miss her. Mm -hmm. I miss our friendship. And hopefully we're going to get into a good space again. Yeah. But um, we'll see. Yeah. It, it seems like a lot of Kyle's friendships are changing. I mean, we see Dorit open up a lot mm -hmm. about that this season, too. Yeah. That kind of made me feel a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. oh, okay, it's not just it's me. It's not just me. Yeah, because, mm -hmm. you know, you take things personally, and sometimes it's never really about you. It's about the, the other person. Yeah. So I've had to kind of reflect on that. Mm -hmm. Do you, I mean, I think some people are saying that Dorit was jealous of uh, Kyle's friendship with Morgan. Did you feel like that at all, or do you think that it was just... Uh, when we were filming, I didn't know that there was a... Rela I didn't know about this whole thing. Mm -hmm. So um, I've been learning, along with everyone else, mm -hmm. um, about all of this, yeah. so I've never even spoken to Kyle about it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, was, I'm on the same learning curve as, <laughs> everyone. as everybody else. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, a big red flag for you was Mauricio not showing up to Lorraine's event. Mm -hmm. um, you know, her celebration of life. Mm -hmm. Now that you heard Kyle explain it a little bit in the after show that he already had these plans months in advance, do you understand it a little bit more? Is it, or is it, was that still a big red flag for you? I think it was a big red flag. I just didn't like it. Yeah. And, you know, I, I'm just that way. I express my opinion mm -hmm. to your face. Of course. I, I don't do the behind the back thing. And that's just what I said. And I, I say what I say. Mm -hmm. And I say the, my truth. Yeah. Based on what you've seen, you know, on social media with Mauricio and Kyle and things like that, do you think that, are you hopeful for them for the future or do you just want to see them both happy? You know, I don't know. <clears throat> I think it would be, I need to talk to Kyle. I need to hear what, mm -hmm. what she's thinking. Yeah. So I can't really make an opinion on mm -hmm. that. It's her life. Right. I mean, Is it nice to see her and Kathy back on good terms though? Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think everybody wants to see 
families get along. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. And you and Kathy are still uh, still great. Oh my gosh, she just texted me last night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just spoke to her the other day and she's always so much fun. I, she came over to my uh -huh. house a few nights ago and I fed her my meatloaf. <laughs> and she's so funny. She is funny. I, I truly just adore her. <laughs> she's wonderful. She's great. I'm like, please come back on the show. <laughs> Do you think she ever would? I, I, if I, if I could drag her, <laughs> I would. Drag her kicking and screaming. Right. No, oh. I, don't think, I don't think she'd kick and scream. Right. You know, she might come with one of her box fans. Yeah, right, <laughs> totally. Um, what can you tease about the Barcelona trip? Oh my gosh, it's so, well, um, sorry, my eyes are just bothering me. Um, <laughs> It's a really special trip for me personally. Mm -hmm. And I have kind of a, a small epiphany on the trip, which is very moving for me. Mm -hmm. And I hope that it translates for, for the viewers. Um, and I, I share a lot and mm -hmm. we all do. I think we all have these little small journeys mm -hmm. in, the, in the five days that we were there. And it's just so beautiful. Yeah, it looks good. I mean, it's so, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I just saw the trailer, I was like, yeah. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It does. I mean, and we were in the sun. It had been raining so much in L.A. Mm -hmm. that whole year. And it's like, finally, we were in the sun, mm -hmm. and it was warm. We got to wear our summer clothes. Love it. So we, we really had a, a great time. Good. I mean, there, there are some tumultuous moments, but... Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful trip. Yeah, it, it looks absolutely It's a beautiful, beautiful yeah, trip. Yeah, no, definitely. It does seem like things get very intense, though, between Crystal and Amory, just yeah. based on the on the teasers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. and, but I'm going to tell you, Bravo does such a good job. And I feel like this is what we've been missing from Housewives because we went into COVID. Yeah. And we haven't been able to travel and do all this stuff. And it's like, finally, we get to see this mm -hmm. luxurious trip mm -hmm. in Europe and with these crazy women. And so, of course, things are going to happen, people are going to fight, but really, it's, it's the whole view of it all, yeah. and the shopping, and, mm -hmm. you know, all of the food and the activities that we do, because, you know, we went to Rome my first year, and mm -hmm. that was rather brutal. <laughs> yes. It wasn't that fun. <laughs> no. I was like, oh, you know, I, I love Rome. Right. Where does this season kind of rank for you when it comes to maybe the hardest season that you've been through to the easiest season? Um, I think this was a good challenge mm -hmm. season. Okay. Um, but it was also, I think, the most fun season. Okay, good. All right, despite everything. That's... Despite everything. Mm -hmm. Last year was the worst. Yeah. It was just the worst mm -hmm. for me, personally. Right. I really felt beat up. Yeah. So for me to come back and be strong, and I really did. And mm -hmm. we had that long hiatus. Yeah. Probably and, everybody needed. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you know, and during that time, I started another business, mm -hmm. and my store was getting stronger, so I felt stronger. Yeah, and I sent another child to school. Like all this stuff had happened mm -hmm. in that in that time, so I just came back like, you know what? I'm just going to be myself, yeah. and I feel like I'm much more comfortable. Mm -hmm. And people have been making fun of my accent, saying, "Oh, she's putting on an accent." No, I'm just now more comfortable. Yeah, you're just being you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. because I couldn't, you can't fake a Southern accent. Right, no. <laughs> because those girls have been trying to, and they're terrible. I've got to send, I mean, they've got to go to the school of Southern accents with Sutton. Yeah. Because their accents are terrible, and Erica, yours is awful, and you're from Georgia. I don't right. get it. But, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah, I just, but really, I let everyone see a relaxed side of yeah. myself. Yeah, and you know, and you opened up a lot about your family mm -hmm. this season too. And what's the dynamic now? I know Christian was moving to London. That's right. Okay. Good for you to remember yes. his name. <laughs> um, no, he moved in June, mm -hmm. and um, it's been difficult. We co-parent very well together, okay. but it's hard to co-parent with someone that's in England. Right. And I'm in California, so it's like nine hours different. Yeah. Time. Well, yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. It's mm -hmm. the time is really far and mm -hmm. I have my son who's turning 17 tomorrow wow. which I can't believe yeah. with me all the time <laughs> every time I turn around he's there, he's there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I'm like, oh there's James and, and, and meanwhile at a very um, like a big part of my life where I'm busy mm -hmm. and working yeah. and so I was used to week on week off week on week off and that's how I developed my schedule. Mm -hmm. So I can't do that anymore. So this month of January has been really busy with work. Sure. And I had to tell him, 
look, January is going to be crazy. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to calm down. And he understands that. We work, we have to work together, mm -hmm. the two of us. And we've actually gotten really close. That's nice. Closer yeah. than you would think a mother and a teenage boy mm -hmm. would get. Yeah. You know, I, I always call us the odd couple. <laughs> you know, I make dinner, we eat, <gasps> yeah. we watch our show. Yeah, we your talk. routines. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just kind of, we hang out together. And so, in a way, it's this very strange blessing yeah. that um, Christian, my ex husband, gave me because I get James, yeah. my son, with me all the time. <laughs> so thank you, Christian. That's for nice. That's it's not nice. easy, but right. it's, it's, um, but it's, working. it's a blessing. Yeah. yeah. How do your kids feel about you being on the show? You know, the first season we watched because it was COVID. So they, sure. they didn't have, we didn't have anything else to watch. Mm -hmm. So they're like, let's watch mommy on TV. <laughs> and now I think my daughter watches it and she's a senior in college mm -hmm. now. Um, my middle son is over it. Okay. James has never watched it. Sure. You know, but the, there's a lot, the, there's perks. Mm -hmm. Like, can you, can we go to this place now? And I'm like, uh, yeah, so kind of let me try to make that call. So uh, they, they like the benefits of it. Sure. But, you know, this season, I've been a bit more risque, I think. You know, uh, that dinner from hell, mm -hmm. I whipped out a joint. <laughs> and I told them that I did this. And uh -huh. then I talked to them about smoking marijuana and like, do you sure and and I said don't mm hmm and so I got to have conversations with them because I did that and you know I'm talking more about my own sexuality mm -hmm. and things like that that they you know look I've been divorced for seven years yeah. I'm a single woman and um, my daughter and I have had conversations about it so it, it has allowed me to get closer to them That's great. yeah you know I that's one of the things that I love about being on this show, mm -hmm. as hard as it is, it makes you explore your inner self and find things that you didn't know about mm -hmm. yourself and share it with your children, your family. And, you know, like my father's suicide mm -hmm. and talking to my children about right. that as well. And even my own family, because mm -hmm. I've said things about my family, about my dad's death, they probably don't like. But you do that. Mm -hmm. It comes out and then sure. you have to, you have to you talk about it. The, yeah. the aftermath. Mm -hmm. with your loved ones, you have to discuss it with mm -hmm. them. So I think it's really good. So almost like a cathartic experience. It's very cathartic yeah. mm -hmm. and I'm really grateful yeah. that I get to do it. Definitely. Well, yeah. I'm glad it's brought everybody closer together. I think well, that's fantastic. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Um, are you still working with the matchmaker? Well, <laughs> as much as I loved her. Yeah. Uh, no, we're not working together anymore, okay. but I, I adore her. Yeah, she's And sweet. I mean, she's, I, I didn't think you could be more quirky than me. <laughs> but she's a little quirky, but she's so cute. She is. And, yeah, um, so you know, I think she's good at what she does. Mm -hmm. And she did teach me some really good, like, skills mm -hmm. that hopefully, maybe I pass them along to other single women out yeah. there that are struggling to, like, find a man. And, I, you know, I never thought that I would be one to compliment a man mm -hmm. on a first date. Like, that... I was like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I fought her really hard yeah. on that one. But I did it. Mm -hmm. And it actually made everybody, the two of us, more, more comfortable, comfortable mm -hmm. on my second first day. Yes. <laughs> and, like, I didn't want to touch, I didn't want to touch somebody on a first day. Sure, yeah. But I did it. Uh-huh. And, again, I think it made us both more comfortable. And then I certainly didn't want to... Um, imply that I wanted a second date. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to on that date. He yes. asked me. Mm -hmm. So that worked. Maybe those first two steps gave my third step without me having to do it. Mm -hmm. So I think she um, she's, she was kind of bright in that way. Yeah. Did you go out on that second date? Uh, like, you're going to have to see. Wait and see. Okay. <laughs> Are you still a single woman? I'm always single. <laughs> You'll find that right. But you know what? It's okay because I kind of like being single. Mm -hmm. I don't have time. Yeah. I mean, what am I going to do? How am I going to nurture a relationship right now? I, I have my son at home with me. Mm -hmm. I'm working. I, there's just no time.